Hi guys, it's Aegis here. So you can see me with uh, two of the new starter deck, uh, Mirei Minai, uh, Steel Blaze Maiden Trial Deck uh, for unboxing today. And of course I'm going to crack both of them, uh, even though I don't think there will be much of a difference with any of these because the price is back to the uh, starter deck price, which is uh, triple free yen. 333 yen instead of like the lyrical ones which is a lot higher where you can actually get some extra uh, interesting stuff in there but it's something new for Dragon Empire and let's quick, quickly uh, crack one first and see what's in it uh, the second one I will first crack it uh, crack the first one and see what I want to do with it Yeah, sometimes I don't want to keep uh, a sealed starter deck just for overdress. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we do have uh, the usual stuff, uh, and I don't think there's anything else in here. It doesn't matter. Uh, and we do have our cover card, which is a uh, buff Sagra. And it's exactly the new uh, boss unit we have for Dragon Empire, and it's now Maiden instead of Dragon. Uh, and her skill is actually depending on like how many equipments you have, and when you equip, you can actually call a great one or lower. Which some people already uh, discover that you can actually combine with Trickster, so you can overdress. But of course, compared to an Avana that you can just simply discard a card and bring it back, you need to actually have a lot of uh, equipment in order to do it every single turn. Yeah. So we will see what's in here for people who didn't actually see the full list. So first, we do have a boss unit, uh, four copies of course, so that you uh, can simply press a ride without an error and. Since we are in overdress era, or even like previous starter decks, we are starting to uh, be able to actually get four copies instead of very, very old stage, we only get one or maybe two copies of the boss unit. So you need to buy actually a lot. Uh, which, if you ask me, is actually kind of wasting money and wasting a lot of paper. <laughs> yeah, because if one starter deck can cover it, or maybe two then at least we feel better because there are a lot of cards that we actually get four copies and if we buy more than one uh, starter decks we actually have a lot of extra and usually those cards are like vanilla so we can't see a lot of uses in there okay and next we do have our seal blaze dragon uh it's the highly badra Okay, so this is also the right line, um, and it's a uh, female dragon, I think, looks like. Okay, so if the great, if you ride on top of the great one right line, you get to get a uh, equipment from drop add to your hand, uh, and we still have four copies, but probably, probably, we will only be using one. Uh, which is the right deck because we do have a lot more cards that we can actually use and for Riga skill you can only uh, get 5k and you need your Vanguard to actually equip so yeah probably will get cut to one but if you are lack of cards you can, of course feel free to use more than one copy and then to the great one bright line which is the seal blaze dragon Namorka Namorka uh, so is uh, Right from the Great Zero, so last one. Search the uh, blade or shield equipment at your hand and your deck. Okay? And Riga skill when attack, uh, plus 2k. Which is a very common skill, but again, we'll probably only be using one once we are actually building the deck instead of just using the starter to play. There we go. And this is the Great Zero, which is very very nice art that doesn't look like a female dragon to me and this 
also don't quite like a female dragon to me. And then you turn into a fem kind of a more female look dragon and then into a maiden. Okay. It is what it is. Yep. And then we have our uh Grey Free unit supporting with a Steel Blaze Dragon uh Usala. Okay. When appears on bigger circle, kind of last one, get one uh, equipment from drop at your hand. Probably we still be using because we are uh, like running the deck through a lot of uh, equipment and sometimes we need to drop it because it doesn't have uh, like kind of guarding shield value. But we do want to pick it back up, so this is a good card until if booster receives more support. Then maybe he can be replaced. But for now, okay, we only have three copies, so yeah, we have space. And this is uh, a vanilla, which I think is new because we do have some reprint cards. And okay, we only get three, which is, I think is probably quite common right now. And this is let's see, Seal Blaze Dragon Shirunga. Okay. When boost, discard a uh, equipment from hand, you can draw one card. Now, uh, if you do have a lot of different equipment options, you probably might use this card to actually filter, which is like uh, getting the older cards into the drop zone because they don't own any shield value, and you can pick up with uh, other cards, but not seeing it very useful when we actually construct a deck. Okay, and PG, just the normal one without the extra tax that you can save yourself, discarding less. And of course we do have uh, our generic over trigger, which is common for everyone. Okay, and this is the trigger, which is from BT01, 4 of it. This is also from BT01, 4 of it. This uh, I remember it's also BD01, so for a uh, free of it because we do have the over trigger, and this is absolutely uh, BD01 heal, which we do have four of it. So based on these trigger lineups, you can see uh, they don't actually use uh, the older starter decks trigger. So if you do want an other set of triggers, of course you can. For example, in the uh, DBT03, we do have the new crits, uh, and if you do want other like types of draws and such, you will need to go to uh, the oldest other decks and uh, the festival collection, which helps them to actually sell the starters. And when we first see these, we before we actually see the uh, soul charge crit. That is a rare in DBD03. We thought um, they are actually controlling the number of triggers, type of triggers available by doing this way. So you don't get new set of triggers, you get something reprinted. So the number of types of triggers they can have, for example, we only have two two draws, uh, two type of heals, two type of crown, two type of crits, and you just need to work from there. But then they release uh, extra crit triggers and then add an extra rule to tell us we can only run 8 crit, 8 draw, 8 front, no more than those. So yeah, which quite, kind of surprised me when, when I saw that crit, but now it's kind of fixed. And if you do want other set of triggers, simply go get another starter. Or if you want the soul charging crit, then you will need to actually grab some DBD03. Because those rare uh, crit won't be that easy to find unless you are in a country with shops that will need to crack a lot, then probably you can find some more. And now we do have our sword and shield uh, order cards, which they are actually only normal order, but they are called also called equipment. So after you play it, you just place. Uh, next to your vanguard so you can basically complete your puzzle uh, to make the art looks beautiful and I can actually do 
one of these right now before actually talking about the skills. So you can see, uh, you know, just use the normal one. So it won't look, look, won't look very weird. And let's take these away for the moment. So this is how it looks. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is how it looks. Actually quite nice. Uh, but once you sleeve your cards, you probably won't be able to do that. Which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is again. <laughs> but yeah, the kind of ways of doing this is quite nice. And since uh, you only need to keep like these parts existing, and what you need to change is the, just the shield image, the sword image into something else then the maiden can actually have a lot of different kind of uh, equipment and also still being able to do the puzzle which is quite nice and I'm willing to see more equipment and now let's just look into all this so let's look at the shield first uh, card muscle to play it and then you just uh, equip to your vanguard and then uh, once per turn when uh, your unit, which is a finger circle, uh, that is being attacked with equip, discard equipped, you can actually plus 10k for uh, the battle. Only once per turn. So if you need uh, extra 10k shield, this is helping you out. But of course, you need to first play your combo boss for it. So yeah. And this one need to equip by uh, Soul Blossom 1. And when the equipped unit attacking during the battle, um, that unit will get plus 10k. And during the battle ends, if your opponent is at 4 or lower damage, kind of blast 2, put this card to drop, and basically you just throw this sword to your opponents and deal them 1 damage. Yeah. So, it's not easy. Kind of blast 2 is actually quite heavy in the uh, overdress era. But we, if you use it well, you can chase back a lot of damage. And if somehow you're playing a long game and your opponents keep uh, having a very low damage, and they are one card to deck out, this card will just kill them. I probably won't see this happen, but it's a possible situation. So yeah. They, basically that's it for uh, this unboxing overall uh, won't have to say a lot uh, on the content the triggers are reprints which are fine uh, PGs are just normal equipment they give you a playset uh, right line you probably won't be uh, actually using a lot of them if you're actually going to upgrade them with what we have right now and nothing much to say actually because the deck is quite solid you can see we only have a boss unit right lines uh, each ray with an extra unit PGs equipment and triggers so uh, the deck content is actually quite clean quite direct so you can even just take it out and play first before you actually try to add in uh, other units like uh, overdress units or like any other kind of generic units that you want to play or full uh, maidens or mikos to play another playstyle there's a lot of things that you can explore yeah and I am going to explore uh, the possibilities probably this weekend probably this weekend depending on uh, what my friends want to play uh, but if they want to play premium then I would go for premium as well but at least I will get myself prepared yeah. so it's kind of a shorter video uh, and since uh, it's clear that we only get one foil so I'm not cracking the second one uh, for now in case if I need it somehow in the future then I can crack this and get myself another one so I can keep it sealed but yeah Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.